Hello again, Bill Dendel from the Tea Garden Traditional Jazz Camp with you once again talking about beginning to improvise. Uh, so far in this series we've talked about using the melody, the melody notes in different order, changing the rhythm of it. We've talked about using chord tones and lower neighbors and using an approach primarily focused on rhythm and repetition. Figuring out a rhythmic phrase using those notes and repeating ourselves. Today, one of my favorite things, uh, in the world of jazz musicians, it's called quoting another song. It's really borrowing the melody from another song. If it has the same chord structure, you can use the melody from another song that has that same chord structure. So here we go. I'll play the melody one more time. We're going to know this melody well, aren't we? Uh, I'll play the melody with my band in a box over here. And then we'll experiment with borrowing melodies from other songs. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to guess that you recognize Jingle Bells. And then I used a part of uh, Joy to the World. Christmas songs are not a, bad, not, a place, not a bad place to start stealing other melodies. So I would say put this on pause and think of some other melodies that are going to sound good uh, with the chord structure of When the Saints Go Marching In. Uh, one thing you can do uh, is change the melody slightly to make it fit the chords. When the chord changes, sometimes some of those notes are not going to work. So this is good ear training also. So now, uh, take some time, think about another melody, and or you could take Jingle Bells if you want, or some other Christmas tune, some other song that you know well and are familiar with, and play it over when the saints go marching in. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, one.
we were getting quite a stockpile of possibilities now. Melody, change the melody up, use the uh, notes of the melody in a different order, change the rhythm, uh, use the chord tones, the one, three, and five of the scale of the name of the chord. Use the lower neighbors, a half step below the chord tones or the melody. Start on the note, go down a half step, come back up, or start a half step lower and come up. Uh, repeat phrases, create a phrase, a musical idea using those note choices, and then repeat it. And make strong rhythmic statements. Find rhythms that you sound that you like the sound of and use them to create your jazz solo. And if all else fails, steal a melody from another song. It's fun trying to do that, uh, and I hope you'll give it a shot. And next time, we're going to look at the pentatonic scale, whatever that is, and we'll also uh, look at uh, seventh chords, because you're going to see those and minor chords. We'll just touch on those briefly, but uh, we're making progress. Stay with us. Thanks.